Hi guys, Steph here. This is The Novelty Corner and I'm going to give you a very brief update of where I am with Read What You Own. I'm not going to be doing too many fancy things at all with this video. I'm just going to give you some stats and, and things like that because I am going to continue to have a focus on reading my physical TBR through the course of this year because, you know, we've decided to continue this just as an ongoing project. This was originally set up by Izzy and Shay, and I will leave their channels linked down below. There's a really great Discord group if you guys are looking for some accountability and people to chat to, or if you want to have a group to talk about, you know, reading through things that you actually already own. I clearly have a problem not collecting books, and it's about to blow way out of proportion at the end of the month when I pick up all of my rare pre-orders, but that's okay because ultimately when I look at what I read versus what I buy. I read a lot guys so I, I don't feel too bad because I always have quite a large physical TBR but I'm always reading things off the TBR. For some context at the start of this year I had 67 physical fiction titles on my TBR and seven non-fiction titles and I had 19 books on my Kindle Unlimited TBR which were the three things that I was tracking. I'm not worried about my regular Kindle TBR because that is out of control but it's also sitting on one device and I don't see it and it doesn't stress me out. I've also recently gone through and deleted a whole bunch of things that I have no longer planning on reading. So like I that does not stress me out but I do want to make sure that I'm reading other things and particularly KU because I, it is a paid service so I want to make sure that books are being read regularly off that list and that my physical TBR is not just sitting there for years and years. So starting with my Kindle Unlimited books I started with 19 books on my KU TBR at the start of January and since then the lowest number of books that I've had on my TBR at any given point in the last three months has been one. I actually got that down either by returning things that I wasn't going to read or reading books. It was at one point sitting at one book. It is now back up at about 18 books, but that's because I have projects for things like reading hockey romances. I've got a couple of kids books out because I'm using them for video content for Little Bookish Teacher. And I've also got a couple of authors to read for Rare. So like there is a purpose behind every book that is on that TBR and I will probably have a KU updated video coming soon because I haven't done one for a few months. But that said, if you were to ask me how many books I have read this year from KU, like actually physically read from start to finish and returned, that's 35 titles, which is pretty good. So I have been cycling through things and I have been reading and returning things that I have read. So even though it was at 19 and it's only at 18 now. There's been 35 books read between now and then. So then we come to physical books. As of the middle of last week, so this number isn't 100% accurate, but I haven't really read any physical other physical books since then. I have read about 154 books total for the year. And that includes uh, middle grade and young adult titles. It doesn't include picture books. They're counted as a separate tally. It includes novellas and full-length novels. Most of it's fiction, some of it is non-fiction, but I've read about 154 things. And from that 154, 28 of those have been rereads of books. So those haven't been new books to me and are not counted in a moment for the next category. And I have read 126 new to me books. So of that collective 154 books, 60 of them have been off my physical TBR. So I've read 60 physical books throughout the last three months, which is pretty good because that's almost the number of physical books that I owned at the start of the year. However, <laughs> and this is where, this is where I have no self-control guys. So I currently have 84 physical books on my TBR. Now, as I said, I don't feel bad about that because literally 60 physical books have been read. It just means I've replaced everything that I've read, which is about par for the course with me. But of those 84 books that are left on the shelf, there are seven review copies. So every month I get between three and eight review copies from publishers. Sometimes they're requested by me and some of the, and a lot of those have been requested well in advance and some of them are sent unsolicited and I try to read them as much as I can as long as they fit in with my reading schedule. Aside from the review copies I have seven middle grade titles, four young adult titles left on my physical TBR, 56 adult novels and nine non-fiction books and a couple of those are work titles so I debated whether or not I count them in here because they're for work but I included them anyway. So <laughs> while the numbers are not fantastic in terms of what is physically still on my shelf. The actual sheer number of books that I have read is pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty proud of myself because I am actually reading what I own, which is the entire point of this challenge. 
So we'll see if we can get those numbers down, although as I said, Rare is going to throw that completely out of the water. Not all of the pre-orders that I've got are book new to me books. Some of them are things that I've read before and that I'm just picking up copies of. Anyway, that's sort of the stats. <laughs> so uh, yeah, feel free to keep me accountable, guys. Clearly I need it. In the comments, I would love to know if you are participating in Read What You Own and how you're going. Feel free to let me know down below. Otherwise, feel free to leave a book stack if you just want to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.